Hey everybody, I'm starting a uh, series on growing poisonous nightshades. Um, this one right here is a Jimson weed, Datura stramonium. Um, it's normally outside, but it's dark outside now, and for the purposes of the video, brought it in. Um, basically, this will probably be a multi-part series. I just received uh, several different types in the mail that I'm going to attempt to start from seeds. Um, I already grow multiple nightshades, some of them poisonous, um, most of them not. However, um, you know, I, I noticed uh, there was only really one other series that I could find on YouTube on growing nightshades and it inspired me to start my own. And uh, these Jimson weeds right here, they actually grow um, wild to Virginia and it's debatable that they are native to uh, North America. But uh, I believe that they are. Uh, Jimson weed means Jamestown weed. So uh, let's get started. I'm going to start from seed. Um, I'm going to cold stratify them, uh, attempt to germinate them, and um, it's probably going to be a multi-part series, so uh, just a minute. Okay, so the types that I'm starting are White Mandrake. Black Mandrake, Scopolia, which it's actually misspelled on the seed pack there. Um, that's also called uh, Russian Belladonna or Henbane Bell. Uh, Jerusalem Cherry, Solanum Pseudocapsicum, and Black Henbane. And also got some digitalis seeds and capsicum eximium which is a type of wild pepper okay so uh, they're tropical so it's kind of an experiment with the peppers to see whether uh, the cold stratifying will help actually help them germinate because those are supposed to take a very long time to germinate um, as well as the um, white mandrake. I don't know if you can see there. Uh, it says germination can occur in 12 months. So it can take up, up to a year for the white mandrake to germinate. So I'm in it for the long haul. Um, and what am I doing here? You see all these little pill bottles and spice jars I have. Um, now I have read multiple sites on how to start the mandrake um, and some have said to soak them for a few weeks before you cold stratify them um, and to change the water every day and there are supposed to be anti-germination chemicals in the seed itself so I'm gonna try that with some and I'm going to just regular cold stratify the other ones. And uh, I'm actually going to try f freezing some as well, rather than just having them in the fridge. So I'll get those all filled up and uh, let's see see what uh, what we've got going on here okay so what I've done here I have um, the white mandrake the one that's supposed to take a year um, I have some soaking in water and I also have some that I'm just gonna put in the fridge and also I have one of each type along with the uh, foxglove and the uh, eximium, the wild pepper that I'm going to freeze 
for 30 days. All of these are going to be cold stratified for 30 days. Um, all of the rest of them I am soaking and also freezing. And uh, t today is, I bought this uh, book, it's uh, Bound in Cork for um, keeping track of everything that I'm doing here. So, put uh, 728 on all of these. I find it helps in any kind of gardening to keep a record of when you start your seeds. I forgot about uh, digitalis and it's multiple species of foxglove all right so I've got that record there I'll probably also do some sketches of the seedlings and things like that in the book so um, ideally um, the reason that um, they're cold stratified is because they are native to temperate regions um, as well as the uh, Datura. Uh, it's native to here and uh, we get rather uh, rather cold winter sometimes. Uh, I live in uh, the eastern United States the mid mid Atlantic region. So, all right. So, I'll put these in the fridge. All right. And I apologize. It's rather dark. This is just a small mini fridge that I keep in my basement. But uh, I have my bottles in there, and uh, I'll put the cover on it there. I also have the envelope in the fr in the freezer portion, and uh, I have various uh, hot sauces and concoctions in here. And I noticed that uh, one of my concoctions was frozen, so I had to turn down the uh, um, cold setting on it so that uh, the ones that I'm trying to just keep cold aren't freezing. And I will be changing the water in them every day uh, for 30 days. Um, so the end of August will be when my next update will be more than likely. And uh, we'll get them, get them sown, get them in the ground. Uh, in the meantime, I'm also going to try just a normal uh, tropical type uh, germination on the uh, Jerusalem cherry and um, the the foxgloves I already have some of those uh, outside, but the uh, capsicum exemium, the wild pepper, I'm gonna try a tropical germination on those, and I'm gonna record my germination times. So, um, also uh, when I'm changing the water in with the poisonous seeds, uh, I have to be very careful. The water will, at that point, have become toxic. Um, handling the seeds as well, it's probably a good idea to use gloves. Um, the main thing is not to ingest them, but uh, you know, coming into contact with them um, could be an issue as well. So, uh, like I said, uh, about another month, and I will update you all. Thank you.